January 2, The Lesson of Bethlehem Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many, unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. Hebrews 9, 28 At the time of Christ's first advent, the priests and scribes of the holy city to whom were entrusted the oracles of God might have discerned the signs of the times and proclaimed the coming of the promised one. The prophecy of Micah designated his birthplace. Daniel specified the time of his advent. God committed these prophecies to the Jewish leaders. They were without excuse if they did not know and declare to the people that the Messiah's coming was at hand. Their ignorance was a result of sinful neglect. All the people should have been watching and waiting that they might be among the first to welcome the world's Redeemer. But lo, at Bethlehem, two weary travelers from the hills of Nazareth traversed the whole length of the narrow street to the eastern extremity of the town, vainly seeking a place of rest and shelter for the night. No doors are open to receive them. In a wretched hovel prepared for cattle, they at last find refuge, and there the Savior of the world is born. There is no evidence that Christ is expected and no preparation for the Prince of Life. In amazement, the celestial messenger is about to return to heaven with the shameful tidings when he discovers a group of shepherds who are watching their flocks by night and as they gaze into the starry heavens are contemplating the prophecy of a Messiah to come to earth and longing for the advent of the world's Redeemer. Here is a company that is prepared to receive the heavenly message, and suddenly the angel of the Lord appears, declaring the good tidings of great joy. Oh, what a lesson is this wonderful story of Bethlehem, how it rebukes our unbelief, our pride, and self-sufficiency how it warns us to beware lest by our criminal indifference we also fail to discern the signs of the times and therefore know not the day of our visitation.